worship our king of kings yes, Lord. we are here today because of him Jesus. if you believe that his you are here today because of his mercies and his loving kindness lift your hands to him and tell him how grateful you are how thankful you are <laughs> Yum, yum.
says that if God is with us, who can be against us? And so I want you to understand that you are winning, regardless of what is happening in your life. Amen. If you are in Christ, you are a winner. Amen. Amen. Shall we welcome each other into the presence of God? I want you to know that on behalf of the leadership of the house, the bishop, Dr. Jonathan Ekoban, and Lady Reverend Lee Ekoban, you are all welcome to this morning's service. I want you to tell somebody to be expectant this morning that God is going to bless them beyond their imagination. Amen. Amen. You are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Yeah. Hallelujah. this morning who wants to share what God is doing in their lives? Is there a testimony in the house? We want you to know that it's important for us to share testimonies and if you can't come up here to give your testimony, you can always see Reverend Fred who will document it and ensure that the testimony is read and God is glorified. Shall we clap as we welcome the living voices? Amen. Our God has been gracious to us. Amen. Wave your hands to Jesus and say thank you. Thank For you to be alive, it is just by his grace. We say thank you, Jesus. This is how far God has brought us. Bye. 
God bless you for that powerful ministration. The Bible tells us in Romans 12 and uh, 2, it says that we should not be conformed to this world, but we should be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Yeah. And the only way we renew our minds is with information. And so this morning, it's important to, for us to be more than excited as the word of God is coming, to bring transformation to our lives, to help us to live as Christians. Amen. Amen. And bringing the word of God to us is no other than our father, the bishop of the house, yeah. our prophet. He's a teacher of the word. You don't find many teachers in this, in this life. Preaching, preaching is exciting, but teaching is what gives you staying power as a Christian. And we are blessed to have a teacher of the word, an anointed man of God. Shall we with excitement clap and welcome Do Bishop Dr. Jonathan Ekoban. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, say your presence is everything.
Amen. We bless your holy name. Amen. This morning, come speak your word to us. Amen. Line up our line, precept upon precept. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Well, put your hands together. And kindly take your seat. Amen. Amen. In the Lord's Prayer, Jesus taught his disciples as when you are praying, pray like this. Our, our Father who art in heaven. It means our Father is above all. God is our Father. That's what God is our Father. And it's very important to obey the will of fathers. Fathers are sources of blessings. And so he said, Our Father who art in heaven, can you do something about this? This is it's an echo in the church. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. And thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven. Somebody say, thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. And thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven. Now, this is a great prayer that we all must learn to pray. And also to obey. Amen. Amen. Thy kingdom come. That means that may the rulership of God come. May his will be exhibited on earth. As it is in heaven. What is the will of God? The will of God is that all humanity will be saved. Yesterday, I was telling somebody that everybody has a problem or an issue. Some have financial problems. Some business problems. Some health. Some marital. But everybody has an issue. And even God has an issue. His issue is that he wants all men to be saved. And that's the reason why he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross. So that out of that, he will build an assembly of people called the church. In Matthew 16, verse 18, he said, I will build my church. Jesus said it. I hope you, are, you guys are writing something. Those of you guys. Get pen and paper. Write something. Don't just come to church. We are not in a cinema hall. We are, we are come to learn something. Amen. He said, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. So first of all, the church is the Lord. And what is the church? The church is the called out ones. Called out of darkness into his glorious light. Call from the kingdom of the devil into the kingdom of God. To form the family of God. Amen. Amen. And when God called us, he called us to build an eternal family. But there is an entity who used to be in heaven 
who rebelled against God, fought against God, and is against anything that God is instituting. And that's the, that is called he, he, the devil. Originally, it was not a devil, it was called Lucifer. And Lucifer means the bright one. But when he sinned against God and rebelled against God, he became a darkened evil image. And he comes to fight God's purposes. And that's why in John 10:10 10, 10, he says that the thief, he's a thief. He comes not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So if you see a stealing, a killing and a destroying that means that Satan is at work. When you see accidents, we see fighting, you see destruction, then Satan has shown himself up. That's the job description of Satan. But Jesus said, I have come that you will have life and have it more abundantly. Receive life. Now, how can we build a church? It takes for a family to stay together. They must be united. Amos 3.3 3 says, that how can two dwell together except they agree? In Genesis 11.6, the people tried to build the Tower of Babel. Jesus said, the people are one. And they all have one language. And this is what they begin to do. Nothing that they propose to do will be withheld from them. Look at it. We, the King James Version, pure King James. He says, the people is one. And they have one language. I realize that what unites people is not just the skin color, but it's a language. You get excited when somebody speaks your language. And he says that if people have one language, that means that if they are one in vision, there's nothing that they can be restrained from doing. Nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. So we are one family. We are one family. For a family to, to live together, they need to have one language. Somebody say one language. One attitude. Amen. Amen. And it takes what we call the spirit of loyalty to dwell together. In 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse number 2, see, I'm teaching in such a way that you can also teach others. That's why I'm taking my time. Is that right? It is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. Amen. So, a steward is somebody who takes care of stuff. So, whatever you have been called to do, you are a steward. If you're a husband, you're a steward. If you're a parent, you're a steward. If you work in an institution, you're a steward. And one attribute of a steward is to be faithful. The word faithful means to be loyal. 
Trustworthy. Truthful. So be kind of Available. So oh, abrebia. Reliable. Si bet Dependable. Si bet Constant. Se on se sada. Consistent. So be And unchanging. Na on ni se se Hallelujah. Senor ye. Amen. And we'll find out that the devil didn't have all, in, all these attributes. Si hu se obon sa na oni sa ni mo. There are many people that they they are employed at a, an institution and they are not loyal. They don't go to work on time. So it means that they are not available at the time and reliable at the time they ought to be available and reliable. They steal things from the company. They also steal customers. When they said they are, they are shopkeepers and somebody can buy some, so oh, uh, there's a cheaper one. I can show you a cheaper one. Oh. Who has gone to buy some product somewhere and so he's there at the end of the month collecting money and yet he is selling his or her own products. Man, I see a beautiful man. I just want Emma to be a shop. No, so a shop. No, I'm not trying. No, I'm trying to be a good baby. Now, be behind my see. Oh, a baby in here. No, baby, a beautiful. No, no, I didn't see a trauma. See any panel? Are you here with me? Oh, ha. If there is anybody that you need to draw close to your life, it's not a skillful person, but a, a, a loyal person. Man, I see. So be a person who can be a brave boy. No, and you be a a war. I said you be a to me. The you be. No, be a. When they send you and then there's a balance, you say, Oh, it's only it's only five cities. It's only two. It's a five cities yours. Amen. Only two cities. And you have pocketed the five cities. You pocketed the two cities. You pocketed the fifty cities. You are not truthful. You are not loyal. Man, this is a small circle to idea and this is a bit more. Now balancing Sanisa. And so the shot could to go now one can't change the power now. If I just say, well, no, we're not loyal, man, you can't. We're not going to be able to do it. Are we learning something? Did you say it's going to be? So, you realize that loyalty is very important. So, when you say, we're not going to be able to do it. If you're a child and your parents ask you to do stuff, you don't play around, and then you, you end up not doing the work. You have to do the work you are told to do. Amen. So, you're going to be able to do it. No, my man, so, we say, yeah. There are many people who are not loyal to their loved ones. Yeah. These days, there are many married women who cheat. Because they think that the husband is not able to provide everything they want. So, they realize he has some unquenched man. So somebody uh, said, side, side, me. side there are now side chicks and side guys. So you couldn't me and you are not being faithful. If I just want to me for the too, so And you see, what many people don't know is that when you have sex outside of marriage, the Bible says that he that is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. He that is joined to a harlot is one flesh with a person. And so, so, when you go and have sex with people all over, there's something called transference of spirit. Evil spirits can be transferred to you. Eh? The person's evil background can be transferred to you. Something good that ought to be happening to you. One sex you want to have is bringing a problem into your life and into your family. Disloyalty. Then there's also something called soul tie. Some people you say, oh, I just wanted to have only one fling, just one, one, one nice stand. After that, you cannot, you, cannot, you cannot stop it. Before you realize you are going to the girl or you are going to the, the, uh, I mean, to the man, you keep doing it because your soul has been tied to the person. And sometimes you can even get married. But when you get married, you will never have a sexual satisfaction until you begin to think about that a guy or that lady who you went to do that thing with before a certain day, it's an evil spirit. 
Amen. Is this why I say? Amen. Am I preaching something here? Amen. Yeah, you don't like my preaching, but that's okay. I don't need you to like my preaching. I need to preach my preaching. Amen. This is your pastor. No, I say, when you be a one in a worry, a question one. We must not soon soon soon. Or no soon soon. Any soon soon soon. Any any answer. Say, the the bus we must soon soon. But if we want to meet, eba also. And I say, one in a sign a question one. So, am I one in a crown? No, a bear back. So, I will cry now. Uno yere adano na still no wa dwen was na nipa le so so wa dwen ko se nipa le so no yere nko a onu okunu so onu okunu balance ade no onu ho keni ne da wa dwen wo sa nipa le so yere na e chere e fe no so tie no amen se pokra e be e ba ko amen amen not keeping your word e se ba se won fo asem i will come and you don't come so be ba so won ma i will do this you don't do it so me ya dey we so me no nye you are not reliable. But I say, to me for your own so. You are not dependable. You to me for your own so. You are not, and, and some people too are not constant and consistent. You see, it's like as life changes, things be, become a little better for them. They change. I think of one. They change in a They change in a negative way. Almost the Yeah, don't don't change in a negative way. Are you here with me? Amen. Yeah. Small beloved, you got, you have changed. As you, as you got married, you have changed. You have become Mrs., you have become Mr., you, are, you got one or two children, so you don't do anything again, you don't clean again, you don't do anything again. They have made you a manager, or you are, you, are, you are now you are a leader, or you have even been made a pastor, and so you cannot carry things, and you have become so important, you importance yourself. Amen. Hey! When the disciples of Jesus, the apostles were carriers of food. They were the ones who were there. They were ashes carrying things around. There's nobody who is above doing any menial work in the house of God. Amen. Including the senior pastor. Amen. From sweeping to clean of toilet to everywhere. You, it, it is all our work. It's all part of the work of God. Can amen. I have an amen? Amen. So nobody is above it. I'm not above it. I go to the toilet there. I go and clean. Yesterday, I, I, was, I went out there. And then I saw two ladies. I, my heart was so touched. When they came, they saw that it was not in the best state. They were not even church members. And they went cleaning the toilet. Amen. And I said, why are you? I thought some of you were some of our new members. They said, no. We are visitors, but we came. And as we came, we saw that the place was not in the best of shape. And this Ladies took her. They were married women, married with children. I saw one with a child that she was carrying her baby. So that was not an excuse. And she wore gloves and she went in there. I said, Amen. God will bless you. May Amen. God bless you. God Amen. will bless you. Amen. And then after that, after that wedding, I saw them out there. And then we were talking. And as, as we were talking, I said, Thank you. He said, Oh, this is the work of God. Amen. They do the work of, to the extent that they can even go to a guest church, a church they went for wedding in their wedding dress. Mm. And you sit in a church, you are so important. You don't join any group. You don't know into anything. If the people who are to clean were probably not available for a reason or two, I mean, you you can't join anything. You can't join anything. Amen. And I always ask that if God were to ask you, if you were to be, if God were to, you know, bless you or to give you salary according to your work in the house of God, how much will God pay you? Man. Many of us, let's be honest, how much can will God pay you? Can that, can what do you do? Because, oh, you sorry, how let, me finish, let me finish. And many of us, all we do is just come and use our botox to sit on the chair and say, I have come for blessing. Oh. When you're a family member, listen to me. Every family member does something in the family. Yes. When we're young, everybody. You see, you are sweeping. Me, when I was young, I was a rubbish collector. Yes. I would sweep and collect rubbish. Eh? Yeah, rubbish collector. And cleaner of... <laughs> everybody has the same. My big brother used to wash. And I used to... I mean... 
wash plates and bowls and things and go, take rubbish and everybody has a room. My sister will cook. Everybody has some. So everybody does something for the family. Amen. And God is building his family. Amen. So what are you doing for the family? Amen. 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 Those two ladies are very good church members. Bad church members say, hey, he went to church, he, the toilet, there yeah, was no need. Uh, it was no need. And when, when they, I don't know what the cleaners are doing and that they didn't come and clean the toilet. Who should clean the toilet for you? Don't you clean the toilet? Amen. Who needs that? Amen. Don't you have some? Amen. You should have come to clean the toilet. Amen. 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 Hebrews 6 10. People who forget those who have helped them, they are, eh, they are disloyal. They are unfaithful See. people. Hebrews 6 10. People who forget those who have helped them, Bible says God is not unrighteous to forget your work of love. Which you have showed to us his name, in that you have ministered to the saints and you do minister. Whatever you are doing in the house of God, God will pay you back. God will bless you. God is not unrighteous to forget it. No, no, no. You are not interpreting it. God is not unrighteous. It is unrighteous people who forget. When people forget the good that has been done to them, some unrighteousness has come somewhere. And you want to document good things people have done for you. Never forget it. I have not forgotten my class one teacher, Mr. Bolabi. Mr. Bolabi used to hold my hand. No, no, so men, sir. He used to wear the long socks up to here. And shorts no, with, he had some hair in his ears. I remember him very well. And holding my hand. No, yes. He's called mm -hmm. Teacher Ishmael. Uh, teacher Ishmael. I know him as Mr. Bolabi. <laughs> I said, hey, I have not forgotten them. I have been forgotten. Many of my teachers, one day I was driving and I saw a, my lecturer, one of my lecturers, I saw her. Standing by the wayside, whether I was looking for transport, I stopped the car. I said, Please, are you Dr. Mrs. something? So I said, yes. She said, Yes. I said, Please, jump into the car. So, so I am going to preach somewhere, but I, the woman I get there, I, wherever you are going to, I'll give you a driver to take you there. Amen. So I got to the place because I needed to get the church to, so I could go and do my meeting. And I gave her a driver. I said, wherever she's going to drive her there. Amen. I have forgotten. Oh, that's Amen. Amen. So loyalty is a very important thing. You see, and one day, what God is going to look out from us. It's not just our skill, but our loyalty. Amen. In Matthew 25, 23, Jesus said concerning the good servant, he said, his Lord, he, he gave a parable and he said, you know, about the talents. 
and then somebody used the talent to her, which is symbolic of money or grace. And then he said, the Lord said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Amen. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Do you want to enjoy the joy of the Lord? Amen. Then, then be a faithful person. He said, well done, good and faithful servants. Good Amen. means you are skillful, you, you are talented, you've got anointing, but listen to me. The, the anointed person is not the reliable person. The beautiful girl is not the reliable person. Don't make a choice out of beauty. In fact, but we sell shops. But we don't sell character in shops. Amen. 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 Bible says beauty is vain. The Bible says beauty that has no character it smells amen somebody say charisma without character is equal to ca catastrophe amen amen so, you don't only have to be good, but you have to be faithful. Faithful means that when we give time that we are supposed to do something, you are there on time. Yes, I'm, I'm talking to you. I, I, I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to giraffes. I'm talking to sheep. I, I said, I'm, I'm, I'm coming down. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. You see, if you don't learn this, these principles, eh, you end up losing big time one day. Because there are, there are certain places when they give you an appointment, and even 10, 15 minutes to time, you are not there. Even though they gave you, I said, 10 o'clock. Let us by a quarter to 10, you should be there. Amen. Because they may call you earlier. Are you getting me? And Amen. sometimes, especially when you're going for interviews and things like that, they usually would have cameras. So they are even checking out those who came early. So it's not only about how eloquent you answer the questions, but they are even, sometimes they are watching your demeanor. Even those as you are sitting down. So I want you to know it. Maybe some of you may not know. So sometimes the interview actually, the people are chosen before they enter the room. Amen. Are you here with me? Amen. They are chosen before they enter. They are watching you when you came in, your attitude and all those things. Sometimes they are even watching you from the gate. How you, how you related with the gate man. You told that mere gate man. You said mere gate man. And you walked away, never greeted the gate man. He said, no, you will not be good for the company because you met the security man and never greeted the security man. You are showing disrespect to the, the person. The person who secures them there, you are showing disrespect. You cannot be part of the company. Amen. 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 And let me tell you this, never be disrespectful to anybody's staff, anybody's worker. Amen. Disrespect to the person is disrespect to the boss. Amen. It is the boss who has not brought himself. But, <laughs> are you getting me? Amen. Yeah. And that's why. So, never show disrespect. Even if you think the person is acting in a caustic manner. Amen. You know, rather report the person, but don't fight the person and don't demean and depreciate the person. Amen. So, be obi, edumayenia, for wo emanos. One for wo amasa enipana. Amen. Amen. So, and becoming disloyal doesn't happen one day. So, It's like putting on a weight. You don't put on weight one day with a big meal. Yeah. 
There's a, a saying in Ghana. Saying can cast a bio hormo. Dukui ne le. Or say kem musuda ebale fio 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 fio. Dukui is the hips, the hips, the widening of the hips, and the growing of size of the stomach. It comes little by little. Amen. So little by little, you become something. Amen. Either loyal or disloyal. Amen. Are you getting me? Amen. Uh, so I, we, are, we are going to look at the little by little how we get, we become disloyal. So we're going to look at the processes, the stages, how we become disloyal. People become disloyal so that, number one, it will help you yourself to detect disloyalty, uh, identify and kill the tendency of disloyalty in yourself. Amen. And number two, it will help you to also detect disloyalty in any person who works with you and Amen. works for you. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Yeah. So Plus, it's a two-pronged thing. It helps you to detect disloyalty in yourself. Sometimes you are becoming something, but you may not know it. You are changing, but you are not knowing it. You may not know it. So these scriptures are to help you. It's a, it's a mirror. You know, that helps you to look at yourself and say, hey, this is what I'm becoming. Or you can also see it. Sometimes people, parents tell their children, you, you are changing. Or you have changed. What's the son? What's the son? Who question? What's the son? I want to ask the son. Are you getting me? Okay. It was so much. You bet me whom I dear and Tianco for Assassin, a war. A brabo moon. A Bianco found me no monoma, a quiet first massa, and a ba, in Sans one, a was so any. Oh, my, who bet me who sans in Sans one and so almost wrote me a down also. Amen. Amen. There are eight stages of disloyalty. I say a war. And your man was chia, a daddy, saying Nipper, a whole more, won't mean for home and The first stage is the stage of independence. Amen. Amen. When you are in a relationship, and previously you call the person, or you send a message, and quickly the person responds. And later on, you call the person, the person doesn't respond. You send the message and it will take 10 hours. Or, pro or probably the following day or two before the person responds. It's a sign of disloyalty. No, it's a first say. stage called independence stage. The person is becoming independent of you. Maybe he doesn't like you again. But you may not know. So I'm showing you some of the signs. He doesn't know how to tell you that I don't like you in my life again. Because previously, the moment you send a check, then the person says, chap. Yes. 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 This morning, I sent a message to somebody. The next moment, I had to receive. Whilst I was just sitting, the response came. Man. But you see that this time you call, 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 call. You, you leave voice message, no response. So, first, any payaka, oh, fray, ya, pet, phone, and ringing check, and ya, bob, pip, and wafano. So, so, fray, 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 oh, father. You even tell people that, tell him. That I've been trying to reach him. You see, you may not know that something bad is developing in your life or in the person's life. That's what I'm showing you as listen. This is not an indictment, this is not an attack, but this is to help us. Can I have an amen? Amen. 
The independent state is so subtle that most people don't even recognize it for what actually it is that it's a disloyalty. When a person joins a group and develops an independent attitude, he tries to become autonomous within the setup. The rules of the organization doesn't affect the person again. So sometimes in a church, a person is part of the church. But the person does what he wants to do in spite of all instructions that are given. One day we are having a fast. I said we are going to have a fast. He said she has stocked her fridge with a lot of food. So she can't join the fast. I think the next prayer topic would have been, Lord, let there be no food in her house. Do you see, do you see why sometimes God doesn't give us a lot of things? We we because you are comfortable, we forgot what we forget what we are supposed to do. Yes. The comfort makes us forget God, forget whatever we have to, to do, and we become very disloyal. There's a reason why the pastor says, let us fast and pray. Parents may not tell us the reason why we should do certain things all the time. And whatever the scripture tells us to do, there may not be reasons but God has his reason. In Psalm 95, verse 6 and 7, the Bible says that, Psalm 95, verse 6 and 7, come let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our maker. Why? Because he is our God. And I'm saying, Amen. If God is your God, you have to learn how to kneel before him. We have to learn to worship him. So when you come to church and the time you come to the church, we, we have finished worshiping. So sorry, we have failed. Amen. Amen. He said, He's our maker, and we are the people of his pasture. And the sheep of his hand. So it means that we are God's sheep. Tell somebody, we are God's sheep. Say, me, I'm a sheep. Amen. We are not goats. We are sheep. Amen. Amen. Yeah, one day, uh, uh, a deacon in the church, he told me, he said, after describing the characters of sheep and goats, he said, he came to me and said, ah, for me, I know I'm a goat. Amen. I said, yeah, in church, if I send you a giant here, any upon it here, no, open you back, I'm sorry, but I didn't say, ah, my dear, my friend, in church, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't say, there are three categories of church members. They say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Every church member, in every church, people are in three stages. There are those in the dear stage, they are those in the dear stage, there are those in the goat stage and there are those in the sheep stage. But the best stage you must be is to be in the sheep stage. See, in the sheep stage, those who are deers, deers are very nimble. They move all over the place. It's very difficult to catch them. It's not easy to find a sheep. The, the deer. Once upon a time, then the deer shows up. So those in the deer stage, once in a month or two, two months, then they show up. <laughs> I get to me. Yes. 
special occasions. Oh, say yeah, I guess from Kubi. Or when they have a feeling. If you are what in Kubi, they say I'm not happy. I see many age. So let me show. Let me be in church. Oh, and then they remember sorry. And when they don't feel like being in church. You say, yesterday there was a wedding, I'm tired. Uh, uh, we are all tired. Yeah, we are very, very tired. Eh? Yes, I was in Kumasi from Wednesday and Thursday. Me go go back 12 midnight on Mkwada. Thursday night. Yesterday I was here to make sure we, we fix things up. Friday, sorry, Friday, prayed with them, left here almost about 11 in the night and was here yesterday to come and make sure that everything was set before the wedding. Amen. You have no idea when you are married or you are doing an occasion, what we do to make the thing look beautiful, Amen. to receive your guests, Amen. to, to be catchers towards them. You have no idea. Amen. And me, I'm, I'm, I'm not tired. By the grace of God, I'm older than many of you. Amen. Are you getting me? Yes, I'm older than many of you. And yet, I can sleep just two, three hours, and I'm here. Amen. Fresh. Amen. Preaching the word of God. Amen. And you slept late, and uh, you don't know. Point. The Holy Spirit, you see, when you connect yourself to the Holy Spirit, he energizes you. Amen. Yeah, yeah. 20 years, 30 years. Then you are there. You will be joining and you are coming. You are, you are 42 years and before I realize when you are walking, you are walking like this. You are bojo. You better be energetic. There must be energy in you. You must rise up. Amen. Ah. Se nasa fo se no ti o ke kan ho men 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 gogo ho ho gogo no fa no mu a o ke kan ho nyan kenya son ko se o be koso aye ne te se o ye amen amen so the bible says that we are the, and, and and so the first stage is what the dear stage so say the dear stage so the di kan and say o kre then the second so the dear those in the dear stage they just show up once in a while then there's a goat stage. <laughs> you know, goats we know are very stubborn. They do what they want to do. If you want a goat to move from here to there, so if you say a point, you know, you and you are going, the goat will not follow you. You have to carry the goat. Or tie them and, and pull the goats. No, I it. Yes. So there are church members also like that. Say, maybe one my one my same bunch. Say, I no more here. Amen. Amen. No, it's not. It's not disrespect to anybody. It's not that I'm only trying to describe. I say, I say, or they here in fatu home. Amen. Amen. I didn't call you that. You put yourself in, in whichever. I see. Yeah, oh yeah, no, no. Yeah, train yeah. Amen. Because Jesus said, when it comes in the last day, they will separate the sheep from the goats. Yes, Christo can you say? So sign back of ordinance or bet chain in Pontia Jan chain in Jan. So Jesus acknowledges goats. The yes, Christo crowd is a sheep in Pontini Jan crowd. But God has not called us to be dear, and He has not called us to be goats. And I say in Pontin. If I, if you look at goats, goats even they destroy things. You see, eh, if you are preparing your soup. And go shows up. So young crying up on TV. Please hold your boy. What shall I so? What chance in me? They will come ahead in the thing. Who sold me to a pimp chance? Your fool will not come on. Who will forbear no promise? It has happened before. Say, yes, it is. And so, God can be destructive. Who said, for Tia, oh, a boy, or say, I dear. But sheep, they are followers. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that we are the sheep of his pasture. The Bible says, mm. so, so we are the sheep of his pasture. I will show you another scripture which shows that we are the sheep. Psalm 100. Uh, let's start from verse number one. And Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Verse 2. Serve the Lord with gladness. Serve the Lord with what? Gladness. gladness. So when you are serving the Lord, don't be angry and be talking. Serve him with gladness. 
Come before his presence with singing. Some of you, the time we came, were you singing? We are finished singing. <laughs> know that the Lord, He is God. It is He who has made who has made us. It's God who has made you who you are. Did you hear me? It's not our education. There are many educated people who have nothing to write home about. Amen. Amen. It is God who makes us. When you read 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7, 17, it says that who make us different from another. It means that it's God who makes you different. It's God who makes you dress the way you are. It's Amen. God who has made you that handsome. It's Amen. God who has made you this beautiful. Amen. And, and that is why you don't also have to look down on anybody. Amen. You said, you know the car, type of car I drive? Do you know where I, I stay? Do you know the class of people I work with? Please, sorry for the left hand. We are sorry. For what you are. Mr. High and Madam High are lifted up. Amen. Yeah. It is He, God, who has made us. And not we ourselves. Amen. Amen. One day I heard a woman. So that, that could be she was me. telling another person. Me, I have given birth. And my breast gives breast milk to her. Because the other one didn't have a child. Somebody who has helped her get a job. Get accommodation. Because she hasn't got a child, and you got a child, would you You do you know what may happen to that breast you are you are you, you are using to, to, to castigate somebody? Please! It is God who has made you and be thankful. To that God Mom. and don't become proud. Because pride leads to a fall. Amen. Pride amen. will take you down amen. and destroy you. Amen. You didn't say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I tell my children, you're not any better than anybody. Amen. Amen. You could have easily been there. But by the mercies and the grace of God. Amen. Amen. One day somebody, there was an earthquake. So that could be as a civil suit. And the man was there for about two days or something, or two, three days, and he came out. And when journalists asked, how come, how are you able to survive? Oh, so I'm somebody who is a very determined person. So I was determined not to die. They have the wife. The wife too said, Oh, my husband, he's a very strong willed person, very whatever. They never gave praise to God. They never thanked God. About two, three weeks later, a few weeks later, he was, he was struck by a disease. That one, he was not resilient, re resilient enough. Before I realized, he was on the way dying. And he died. Because he didn't give thanks to God. A thankful person is a graceful person. And anybody who cannot learn to thank and appreciate. You see, you, you, you become a monster. You become a very wicked person. So you should be able to say, Thank God, my husband chose me. It's very likely you may not have been chosen. Anybody who is chosen to do anything, whether in the house of God, anywhere, mercy has been shown you. Amen. One of my spiritual daughters, when she was in England, and then somebody decided to, you know, marry her, she sent me a message and said, Daddy, I've been shown mercy. Mercy Amen. has been shown me. 
Amen. That this guy says he wants to marry me. Amen. I said, you, I, I, you understand? You understand? You understand scripture? Amen. It's not because you speak British English. I think you're both bro. I'm a very pretty girl. I'm a pretty girl. And I work, 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 I work in Trafalgar Square. Mm. No, no, I've been to the Queen's Palace. I work with the Queen of Buckingham's Palace. Madam, for you and for bro, for now, are you? Man, we don't use no, she, she no, yeah, no. Uh, who, who, no, 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 no. Oh, that's, what, that's what we use. God has shown you mercy. You pass it down. God has shown you mercy. You are chosen. Come and do this. Come and do this. Come and do this. Come, 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 come. come. He said, I won't do it. I can't do it. You don't know that mercy has been shown you. Mercy. Mercy has been shown you. It's going to be a doorway. You see, when Queen Esther was chosen, mercy was shown there because there were so many girls who were all giving those kind of dresses, six months, you know, putting a special oil on them, cream on them, you know, nice hairstyle, how to walk, they showed them how to walk. And when you go, they said, Charlie, show me, show me. And then they show me how to show you know, huh? how to show me. One day I had, I, I had a pastor. And then while the wife was going, he said, he said, honey, show me. He said, honey, show me. Shami. Honey, show me. I said, hey. So I was wondering, I didn't know where she me. But when I saw the sign, then I, I understood that what, what she was trying to do. I said, hey. Amen. 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 You were told to sing. It's, it's a mercy that has been shown you. Amen. Amen. I remember those days when the choristers are singing and my pastor was not too excited about that. He can do his sound like this. Why is that singing? Can you imagine? The singers are singing and they, 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 that's a sound like this. He goes to stand there. Da! Amen. <laughs> he will open his mouth. He just does his sound like this. Da! Then they all have to get down. You see, if he did it to some of you people, the following, you, you won't come to church. You say, I have stopped the church. The, the man has disgraced me. But if you are doing something and your biological father says, stop it. Is will you say be... you are leaving the house? Maybe. You see the pride that is in our hearts. Man. But those guys will still come, go for rehearsal twice or three times, and still the following week they will come. Today they are doing exploits. Amen. Sometimes, hold on, sometimes those things are to test you. Are you getting me? Yes. When you join the military, eh, the intention, especially for those who are going to be officers, they, they test them with something called temper to make sure whether they are temperate. Because as a, an officer, you have an access to pistol. You are going to give instructions. And are you somebody who is easily given to anger? Who is going to give instruction? Because you have access to your pistol and boys are under you say, Charlie, go and beat these people. Go and do that and you'll be shooting all over the place. So they will intentionally annoy you. They will be slapping you. I have a, 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 a friend. Who and they, so they will intentionally slap you, beat you and go to see how you are going to be temperate and absorb the nonsense. See, the word patience means ability to endure nonsense and annoyance. Amen. Amen. That's the Amen. meaning of your name. Amen. To patience. Eh? Ability to endure what? Delay. Three things. Delay, nonsense, and annoyance. Yes. Amen. And if you're able to do that, God says, this is a good person that I can work with. Amen. This is somebody I can bless this person with. Amen. This is somebody I can promote. Amen. May God promote you. Amen. May God favor you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say your pecan or say so you'll be a war about that. I betray you a dear young coupon, a share. I'll be a war about Trebiani, or be a young coupon, a tummy funnel, no channel, or to me in the engagement, Nippiano or Holoma, but more than one said, Bring up a tray, using a me a mobile room, let me bow about me a tray. Bible say we are his people. I miss Bible say, Yea, 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 me, Emon Crawford. So we don't belong to ourselves. And the sheep of his pasture. In John chapter 10, verse 27, Jesus said, I know my sheep. <laughs> Are you here with me? Amen. John chapter 10. 
Você my olha, he said, my sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. Goats don't follow. And snakes don't follow. I don't, I've never seen anybody that is a shepherd and then, oh, yeah, and then he has sheep that are following. Sorry, uh, 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 snakes that are following. Snakes are very independent. The day a snake is born, most animals will suck the breast of their mothers. Snake doesn't breastfeed. The moment they are born, they are on their own. But God hasn't created you to be on your own. To be a sheep and to follow. For your own good. Can I have an amen? Amen. Yeah. And the thing about the, the importance about sheep is that every sheep or sheep is has owners. That's why Jesus said, My sheep, mine, that is possessive pronoun. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them. And they follow me. It means Amen. that if you're a sheep, you're a member of the church, you should be able to hear the voice of your pastor. That's Amen. why you must be listening to the messages of your pastor. And you must also listen to the instructions of your father. And he said, I know them. You must be known. Amen. Amen. And they follow me. It means that sheep must follow. Someone say, sheep must follow. Yeah. So you're and when you read Genesis, mm. sorry, Psalm 23, verse 1 and 2. Psalm 23, verse 1 and 2. Are you writing? Some of you are not writing anything. You are just staring at me. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. The psalmist said, The Lord is my shepherd. Now, who is a shepherd? One who takes care of sheep. Is that right? So it means that the Lord is his owner. Every sheep, every sheep has an owner. And there is a certain tenderness towards sheep compared to snakes. When we see a snake, we want to kill a snake. And when you kill a snake, nobody is coming to question you. Who has ever killed a snake here before? I've seen the snake being killed. Yeah. Did anybody question you? Why did you kill this snake? But when somebody's gold, a sheep, is stolen, so we will be a Yeah. You, you, if your sheep is stolen, you'll not be happy. So we because that the sheep Ujaya, belongs to somebody. Jay. Last week, now, Jay, Jay, I was coming from the Cape Coast Road. Let me feel Cape Coast Road. And because of the road construction, they have dug some very deep pits. And I saw about four or five sheep just by the way. They've caught on the side and were so close to getting into the pit. They were not my sheep. But I believe they belong to somebody. Say you'll be there. And my prayer was that this sheep will not trip over and fall into the into the pits. Because they will not survive. So you could see that there's a certain tenderness towards sheep. So when you are a sheep, the sheep of the Lord. God has tenderness towards you. And he will take care of you. That's why I said the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. That means that I will never lack any good thing. As you, you become a sheep of the Lord, may you never lack any good thing. And verse 2 says that he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Someone say he maketh me to lie down. A shepherd should be able to make his sheep to lie down. Sit down. Amen. Amen. I had some dogs with them. They said, sit. So oh, don't go there. Man, you instruct. Church and they listen. 
Hallelujah. Amen. So you should be a sheep. You should be a sheep that you can be instructed. So you can hear it me a cassette show. So as a church member, the Bible says we are God's sheep. Is that right? And the pastor is an under shepherd of the Lord. And he should be able to make you do things. No, make you do good things in the light of the word of God. Amen. So follow the Bible says, He leadeth me. So you must be led. So a sheep must be made to do something and must be led. If you're a teacher, a mark of a true teacher is your ability to make your students do things and to lead them. When you go for teaching practice, and they are marking you. So your examiner looks at class control. Not only the delivery of your your of, of your uh, of your notes, but your class control. How you are able to make them do things. How you lead them in certain exercises. Are you here with me? Amen. When you go to places like England and co, you will see that sometimes a teacher is going somewhere with them and then all the children are following the teacher. They yes. follow the teacher to, to, to go outside for break and to go and do maybe uh, play on the playground or they are crossing a street and they are following. So it means that they follow, he, the teacher leaded them. The teacher has become a shepherd, leading them and make them to do things. And if you are also, you become, you give your life to Jesus Christ, then you are a sheep. And if you are a sheep, then you must be made to do things and you should be able to be led. Amen. Amen. But if you don't allow yourself to be led and to be made, it means that you are independent. So in, when we call for meetings, and you decide to attend only those you feel important or you don't attend, it shows that you are being independent. You only obey instructions you want to obey and disobey the rest. Yeah, independence is okay, but if you are part of a group or a company, you are not independent. If you are part of a family, you are not independent. So you can't act the way you want to act. Because some of your behavior will be a disgrace to the family. I hope you are getting me somebody here. Hallelujah. Amen. And so you cannot be a Christian and be an independent Christian. And let me give you one person who, who was. You see, the way you see independent, a person acting independently, it means that the person has started being disloyal. And just in the next 10, 15 minutes, we are going to look at somebody called Joab. Joab was the army commander for David's. Oh, uh, no, no, that David. He was more or less like David's right hand man. David wanted, there's been a long war between the house of David and the house of King Saul. And, and David wanted there to be peace. So David called the army commander for Saul's camp and said, Come, let's make peace. Are you listening to me? And then when they had feasted and eaten and Abner was going, and Joab was told that Abner, the army commander for Saul's side, had come to see David. He sent messengers after him. And they brought him back and took him on the side 
And as if they were conversing. And then he put a sword in his heart. And killed him. You can find that in 2 Samuel chapter 3, verse 20 to 27, just for scripture reading. Amen. You see, the king opted for peace. But his right hand man tried to do otherwise. He was supposed to have submitted his will to that of his boss. What he did could have plunged the whole nation into chaos. Amen. Because they would have said that David intentionally invited a man so that you kill him. David said that no, no, okay, no, be cool, no. And that's why sometimes people around you, they, people, somebody will go and say something, and they say, oh, don't worry, it's a pastor. There, it's a pastor who intentionally sent this. Uh, so it's a pastor who sent this person to do this. It's a, he had no idea about it. And when he did that, David pronounced a curse on him. No, yes, I didn't know. David, I didn't know it for so. He says that, in your family, there will not be a want of people who are issuing blood. That means that they had issues of hemorrhages. Then he also talked about people dying prematurely. And then he also talked about leprosy. Are you here with me? Yeah, for not following the king's word. So Joab was a strong man. He was skillful, he was good, but was not faithful. I hope you are getting me, somebody. Amen. So watch out. You see, sometimes eh, you, are, you are there with somebody, and then your your young somebody, your assistant, your boss is coming to rebuke you and talk in some way to you. The person may be good. But what a person is exhibiting is independence. The person is beginning to become rebellious. Peter became so familiar with Jesus. And then when Jesus said, I was going to die, he said, took him aside. He said, what do you mean? Why are you going to die? You can't die like that. <laughs> Didn't you promise that those who follow you receive houses, brothers, <laughs> sisters, uh, eh? And have you done it? You haven't done it. And I'm sure that's the reason why Judas went to. Because Judas, Jesus had promised eh, houses, lands. And then he went and collected 30 pieces to go and buy land, but he didn't end up buying the land. <laughs> be careful. It should not be your, your Christian life, should not be about money, about things. It should be about Jesus. Amen. I see Christ awesome. No, no. Amen. 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 The second way that he became independent, Joab became independent, was in 2 Samuel 18, 5 and 12. When Absalom, David's son, rebelled against David. David diligently for my sake with the young man. All the people heard when the king gave the command. But when Absalom's head was caught up in the thickets, and somebody told him, Joab, that this is what has happened. He said, why didn't you kill him? I would have given you some money for that. And the young man said, didn't you hear? The king gave him his instructions. And the verse 14, Bible says that he, Joab, took three darts and thrust them through the heart of Absalom. So you see, he went contrary to the word of his master. Anybody, I hear with me. When people go contrary to your word, 
They are being independent. Do the sweep this way, sir. I will sweep it this way. Many people think that bosses are mad and they are not intelligent. Listen. He sits on that chair not for nothing. If you even think he's making a mistake, you may make a suggestion, but don't be self-willed to do things in your own way. You are becoming independent of what you have been told to do. Do you understand what I'm teaching you? Amen. Yes. And oftentimes, independent people, they don't leave. Joab was still in the camp of David. But they always want to do what they want to do. So I'm showing you something. That when people do what they want to do, even though they don't like instructions, but they do what they want to do, they have begun their spirit of rebellion. They have started being, uh, I mean, disloyal. That's the first stage of disloyalty. Are you getting me? Yeah, mm -hmm. sometimes diseases are in stages. Are you getting yeah, 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 issues yeah, are yeah, in stages? So that's the first stage. Never. The first stage is a stage of independence. Yeah, when you have a driver and the driver is driving, say, say don't go beyond eighty. No, so, but master, we have to hurry. We have to, and you are pressed on. You are, you, you are not driving yourself. So drive the person according to the way he wants it to be driven. Amen. So can. I don't want anybody to drive me and go through red lights. Amen. Are you getting me? Somebody did that. I warned him. I said, today is your first and last. You are finished. There are some people when they start driving some way, get out of their car. I said, I'm, not going, I'm not going with you. Yeah. yeah. Red light, me go me too Amen. Amen. It's a rebellious spirit. Amen. You be of country, wasm. Then the third way, I, I, I hear with me. You see, Joab was. You can people can be spiritual but independent. So we are not soon soon no, or can we be also always or no? When you say. Let's have this training session. They won't come. One day somebody was told to attend the Bible school in their, in their church. He said, oh, what, what am I going to learn? I know the messages of the pastor. It's, it's, a, it's a spirit of pride. It's a pastor. As a pastor, I preach messages. And sometimes my other associates even preach the same message. But when they are preaching the same message, I take my iPad, I take my notebook, and still write notes. Because as they are preaching, the Holy Spirit has, still has something to teach me. And Amen. the very notes that I, 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 to, I preach about, I still write them to just let them know that it is God. As he's standing there, it is God speaking to us through Him. the person. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And the third way Joab misbehaved, showed independence, was in 2 Samuel 12, 28, that he went to fight for the city of Rabbah. And then at the tail end, if, if, how is it that the army commander is fighting? And then he will tell the president, president, if you don't wear your military uniform, to come and join. Uh, uh, and I take over that place, I will name it after myself. That's an independent. You must be sacked. Amen. You see, a lot of times, even when they're even making an appointment, they are looking at people they think are loyal to them. Amen. Yes, they are loyal to them. Amen. I see Prime Bray say Obi Pobi I did to me be a man or Pobia or or bit me a down no. Yeah, Johaba a war someone who may toss me and it do me a no more. I'm not cocoon or rubber. 
I just rubber crono or catch a David says, David went to me, I'm one behind my magic crona, but me dean ever to swore. Amen. Amen. Anybody that you have given honor and you can't point the honor to your superior, you are independent. There's a problem coming in your heart. Amen. If you be a home, I swear in the monyam round to me and throw Sanchez say, Oh, and the monyam say, If you be paying your waste, nobody, if I say, Whoa. John said, John said he, may, he must increase, I must decrease. You should be able to say, I learned this from this place. I thank God for my, my father who helped me to do this and that. Are you here with me? Amen. I know a young man eh, who God has helped him to become a medical doctor. Very young person, very hard work. And he told me, he said, he said Daddy, I am building a house for my father as a thank you gift to him. My Amen. heart was touched. Thank you. The father is rich, has houses and everything. But to say thank you, to say thank you, to say thank you. And listen to me. Some of you, you trivialize what has been done for you. But Amen. isn't it only a ball of kinky? If you are not given that ball of kinky at that time, you would have been finished. Amen. If the person had not paid your school fees for you or taken you to pay for the trade at that time, you would have been finished. Amen. That is why it's very important to learn to document things. M many of you, you only document the bad things. <laughs> but the good that has been done to you, you have not. Uh, <laughs> you have forgotten the things your husband bought for you. One day he makes a little mistake. You have forgotten what your wife has been done for you. How she's been there, standing with you, supporting you. Something small happens. No? You have blacked out. You have developed amnesia. The person is the most horrible human being on earth. How can you be like that? How can you be like that? Go and read Romans chapter 1. We will learn that later on. You will see that because people were unthankful to God, God gave them over to depravity. All these LGBTQ people doing, having sex from Botox and all those kind of foolish things is because we have not been thankful to God for what he has made us. And so we have developed into wickedness. Yes. Wickedness. You don't pick a phone to call your daddy. And wife, you don't even lead, let your children appreciate their father. Most women draw the heart of their children onto themselves. And the men are sitting at some corner broken hearted. When the marriage starts and things, the man is the ogre. When as the children start growing up and things like that, the man is pushed to a corner as if he never had children. And you mothers, you know it. I haven't mentioned anybody's name because I'm, I'm preaching to the world. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Most men die out of broken heartedness. For the help they have helped their children. Amen. And they are not remembered. So I remember when, as a national service person, I saw a man. And I was on, on, a, on a bus to my station somewhere in Crow area. And I, I picked a conversation with an elderly man. And then he told me, he said, young man, you don't know. When your children get into their 20s and above, sometimes that is when you will see the character of many women. I, 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 I'm not indicting anybody. It, this, we see, we are learning something. Are you here with me? Uh, so don't say the pastor came and was preaching at me. What he saw, it's a mirror. The Bible says the word of God is a mirror. So that you don't become a monster. Amen. 
Ever say I'm not now call us the national service mono or ne to be bit na a shame no to unit china set saying colla any a do a di um fear so a feed you no more my men or almost buying as a sign. He said the men take care of the children, pay school fees. Most of the time, many men are running around. They give money to the wife. But the wife never tell that daddy gave money for me to buy this. They buy. So who gave this to you? It's mommy. Who so did your hair? Mommy. Who paid your school fees? Mommy. mommy. So most of the time, their children think that mommy, daddy does not do anything. Meanwhile, daddy has been providing. <laughs> I am coming down. I say, mommy, bro, so me, I tell my children, remember I paid your school fees. Oh, yes. Because people can easily forget. I said, me, nobody drove me to school, but you, I, I've been driving you to school, whether I'm tired or not. I drive you to school. I, I bought provisions for you. Are you here with me? Wow. You must sometimes remind people. You must put it into their brains. Yes. You are you see, most people never do the right things until you teach them. You are children. Do they just get up to pace? You teach them when you wake up pace. When you do this, day, do this. We are, we are taught. So we are also taught royalty and we are taught things to do. And that's what I'm teaching you. Amen. I you every one man. Say you can football one trauma. Oh my! Send your collar. I swear I'll follow to church. Say you choose. Say money you choose. Why am I teaching this? Because sometimes I hear people say, "Oh, Papa, what's your pay?" That useless father of yours. Oh, Papa, sit down, Nana. Your father is too legged. I don't know why you say too legged. And uh, and they insult the man. If you are insulting your husband or the father of the day, how would the child respect the father? This one and you are sowing a papa. certain seed. And most people, it's been alleged that many men eh, are provoked by their wives, mm -hmm. eh, even to the wrong things, for them to go to prison. Amen. Many men are in prison because of a problem in the home. I remember somebody telling me, he said that I better be an absentee husband than to be an imprisoned husband. Mm. He told me himself. Because I, I, I'll, I'll be provoked to do some things. Amen. 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 Where they must let the parents know and the children know that your father is a good father. Amen. Your father has been helpful to you. Amen. And you see, most men are not like women. Women are very emotional. The men, even when they are suffering, they don't say anything. Amen. And they are forcing. And they are forcing. And they are forcing. Do you, have you realized that most men die before women die? So say me be bring omu wan sana. You check it. Okay, go for omu na. Me man pray omu ja eman. And the inheritance will go to them. <laughs> and then they have, begin to have a soft life. <laughs> it's a sweet message. But one day, a good wife. Are you listening to me? One day she was there. I'm finishing this. I'm, I'm finishing right now. So, but baby, no. Huh? She called the children. A friend in man. And when they came, he said, I'm not happy with you. I see many in Jim. Huh? He said, Why? I said, in India. He said, No, you guys, you have annoyed me. Oh, my, my, you know me. And your boys like their mothers. And he said, man, I'm, 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 And he said, When was yesterday? Was what? I said, No, 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 no. He said, that, that is birthday. I said, If I he, initially were not even right, that one said, I think it's that is birthday. You think? Did you send a message? Four boys, none of you sent a message to daddy. And the mother said, when it is my birthday, weeks before the time, you are doing countdown. 
What I don't like, when I don't even want something, you are pushing it on me. Mother's Day, you celebrate me. Mother's Day, Father's Day, you don't remember your dad. This is the man who paid your school fees. This is the man who has cared for you. It is a spermatozoon that produced you. The name you bear, the energy in you, is from this man. If he's ever pay him. And so when the woman, the man even wanted to cool the woman, the woman said, "Let me go on." Then he said, "Me and my husband, we are going." So he took the car, they took the car key and said, well, let's go. Left the house. They're going to chill. When they came back, all so, the four boys were there. They couldn't go away. They stayed there. When daddy and mommy came, they went and knelt down. Daddy, we are sorry. We are this. We are that. Why have you neglected the man? You are waiting for the man to die. And then you go and write some nice tributes. Our daddy was a hero. He what? He what? That man said, the way you are behaving, my dad, when you go and say that, he said, I will get up and slap you, then I'll go back. Yes. Amen. Yeah. If I'm your father, this is the time to honor me. Yes. And don't even wait for the person to become so weak. Because at a certain stage, the person cannot eat some things. Amen. At a certain stage, the person cannot go to... If you even want to buy tickets, they say, let me... At a certain stage, people don't like even traveling. Mm. So, if you want to do your daddy show, the time that is strong, he can eat all the ice creams can travel around, take him to some spa. You've been taking your mother to spa for them to do her manicure and pedicure plus massage. When was the last time you took your daddy to go and do massage? Ladies and gentlemen, I rest my case. Amen. I finished my preaching. <laughs> Man, come out of and Amen. Amen. Yeah. I know some men may be irresponsible. Yes. Hallelujah. I know some men may be irresponsible. But the Bible says, honor your father and mother. There was no adjective. Honor your father and mother. That it may be well with you. So, mothers, listen to me. If you are being honored and you are allowing your husband to be dishonored, there's no blessing coming from the man to them. And mm. it is the men who bless. It's oh, not see, the women who bless. Shrat. Check the Bible carefully. Oh, it see, is if you want to be blessed, look for your father. Oh, see, Even if your father what? is a drunkard, in his drunken state, in his weak state, when Isaac was weak, and the thought was what, what he said happened to them. Amen. When Noah was weak, what he said happened to them. Amen. My friend, be afraid of a father. Be afraid of the words of a father. The words of a father in your life. The, you see, a father in your life will determine your promotion or demotion depending on how you relate to him. Amen. Your fathers can provoke you, but don't follow the provocation. Dodge it and rather become a blessing. Amen. And you'll be blessed. Amen. 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 Now,
That on the judgment day, the Lord will say to me, Good and faithful servants, come thou into thy rest. Say, Lord, help me to take away any disloyal tendencies, any spirit of independence, any spirit of disrespect, and disregard for authority figures, especially my father, in the name of Jesus, let your kingdom come, let your will be done in my life, say anything my father has done, or any authority figure has done, Against me, I forgive them, and I open my heart unto you, so that you will bless me. Oh Lord, as Jabez prayed in First Chronicles, chapter four, verse ten, bless me in my deed, enlarge my coast, enlarge my coast, enlarge my territories, enlarge my businesses, enlarge my finances, enlarge my marital life. Enlarge my education life. Enlarge my health life. Enlarge my borders. Increase me in every department of my life. Oh Lord, let your hand, let your power be with me and keep me from every evil. As you heard Jabez, so may you hear me and turn my story around. And send my story this around. morning, this morning, I ask of God, I ask so God, enlargement, enlargement of my coast, of my coast. As a single person, as a single person, let me increase, let me increase to become a married person, to become, to become a, married a married person. As a married person, as a married person, make me, make me a joyful parent, a joyful parent of sons and daughters, of sons and daughters. And daughters. Cause me to live a long life. Cause me to live a long life. To see my grandchildren. To see my grandchildren. And great grandchildren. And great grandchildren. May my life. May my life. Be of a great impact. Be of a great impact. And blessings. And a blessing to generations after me. To generations after me. Stretch forth your hand upon me. Stretch forth your hand upon me. Do something new. Do something new. In my life. In my life. Let your presence. Let your presence. Let your power. Let your power. Let your grace. Let your grace. Let your glory. Let your glory. Become my portion. Become my portion. Wash my steps. Wash my steps. In butter. In butter. Anoint my feet. Anoint my feet. In fresh oil. In fresh oil. Make a way. Make a way. Where there's not been a way. Where there's not been a way. May every mountain. May every mountain. In my life be leveled. In my life be leveled. Valleys be exalted. Valleys be exalted. Crooked path be made straight. Crooked path be made straight. Rough places be smoothing. Rough places be smoothing. The highway of the Lord be created. The highway of the Lord be created. And the glory of the Lord be revealed in my life. Be revealed in my life. As I lift my hands to you, as I lift my hands to you, I make myself a candidate for your blessings. A candidate for your blessings. Pour forth rains upon me. Upon me. Turn my wilderness. Let my wilderness into standing waters. And my dry ground into water springs. Into water springs. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Any mistakes that I made in life. Made in life. Mistakes. Mistakes. By words. By words. By deeds. By deeds. And from the heart. And from the heart. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Let the blood of Jesus let the blood of wipe Jesus away. Wipe away every handwriting. Every handwriting of the ordinances of the ordinances of the enemy. Of the enemy. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Don't give me over. Don't give me over to the works of my enemies. To the works of my enemies. But deliver me. But deliver me. And turn my story around. And turn my story around. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. To live for you. To live for you. And to serve you. And to serve you. In spirit. In spirit. And in truth. And in truth. Turn my desert. Turn my desert. Into a fruitful ground. Into a fruitful ground. And my fruitful ground. And my fruitful ground. 
it become a forest. Let, let it become a forest. Let the little one, let the little, the little one. thing I'm doing, the little thing my I'm little doing. business, my little, my business. little enterprise, my little, my little, enterprise. little church, my little, my church. little family, my little let family. it become a thousand. Let it become a thousand. And the small one, and the small one, become a great nation. Become a great, great nation. nation. According to Deuteronomy, according to the Deuteronomy. chapter one, verse eleven. Chapter one, verse eleven. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Bless me, bless me as you have promised. As you as you have have promised. Make me a thousand times more. Make me, a thousand make times me stronger more. Make me than, stronger. My than my enemies. Anything, Anything that is an enemy is an in, enemy. My in my life, make me stronger than make it. Stronger Anything, than Anything than from my father's house my father's and, house, and my mother's house my mother's that house, fights me. Fights Lord, Lord, make me stronger. So I overcome it by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of my testimony. I run through my my truth I run and look over every wall in, in the name of Jesus. Let your kingdom come, let your, kingdom let your will, let your will be, done be done in my life. Make a way, make a way. where there's not been a way in the name of Jesus. Say this morning, as I enter into a new week, bring helpers into my life. The arrows and hairs to lift up my hands, the Bezalis and the holiest people of skill, the Basilias, my provision. Providers, in, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, put a new song a new upon song my tongue to so sing and say sing and that, the say that the Lord God, he is good and his mercies endure forever. forever. Let my prophet him let my show forth. Let, let my testimony be manifested. manifested. Wipe, away my Wipe away my tears and put a new song a new upon song my tongue upon my in the name of Jesus. Make a way, way maker, make a way. Make a way, make a way, way, make a way, way, make a make a way, way for my life, for my, life, for my family, for my family in, the in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, oh God, whatever, whatever the enemy has struggled with me struggle with about, 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 I declare, I declare my Rehoboth, according, according to Genesis chapter 26, chapter 26 verse 22. Verse 22. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, make room for me, make room for me so that I will prosper so I will in prosper the land in the name of Jesus. I declare my Rehoboth. Room for me, room in business, room in favor, room in politics, room in marriage, room in education. I decree room, say room, room, expansion, increase on all fronts. Open your mouth and talk to God. Just two minutes. Take the Lord to turn your story around. Tell the Lord to open new doors unto you. Tell the Lord, the Lord God Almighty, any mistakes are made. Let there be a reparation. Repair my relationship with my father and my mother. Repair my relationship with my pastor. Repair my relationship with my authority figure. Turn my story around. Let your grace and glory come upon me. In the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. And bless me in my deed. Bless me in deed. And like my coat. Let your hand be up for me. Deliver me from every evil. In the name of Jesus. Oh, mama. My 
mighty God. I bless your name. Holy one. I worship you. To try to pull you into shame and pain. Mm. But the hand of the Lord has come to cut it off right now. Amen. As you declared him as Lord. Lord. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Three people here. You've been seriously disappointed, even to the point of getting depressed. But I see an angel of God come to touch your heart. Yes, and there's been a restoration. Yes. And that pain and that confusion has been taken off. Amen. And instead of being depressed, now there is joy in Amen. your heart. A joy has come to replace Amen. it right now. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Yes. Somebody, your left eye is getting dim. But a healing power of God is touching the eye right now. Put your hand over there. I see the hand of Jehovah touching you right now. Receive the healing in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. There is somebody who have a problem in your fifth, your your or your fifth lamb, fifth lumbar to your sacra, you know, vertebrae. God, specific fifth lumbar, lumbar vertebrae. There's, there's a, a, a nerve innervation. There's a nerve in there that is hurting you. But God, uh, God is healing it right now. Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. Jesus. Christ of Nazareth. When you begin to move, you will see that there is a change right now. Yes, Amen. yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Christ 
of Nazareth, son of the living God. Somebody, it's your season to be remembered. 20 people, I can see that you seem to have been forgotten, but the Lord God who blesses in his own time yes. is yes. causing you to be remembered. Oh, and those who forgot about you are remembering you oh, to come and show you oh, honor. Amen. And that which belongs to you, they are bringing it unto you Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Amen. Father, lift your right hand. I want to pray with you, Father. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I want to thank you for your mighty hand. Amen. And I pray that as this hand is lifted up, Amen. whatever the hand leads, Amen. may you supply. Amen. Supply help us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. For you told someone that, and you who told Saul, so, that when you are departed from you, you will see two men. Amen. That is the people factor. Amen. Every people that you need, Amen. make the Lord release them into Amen. your life. Amen. And he said that you will get to Rachel's tomb at Zelza. He's Amen. talking about location. Amen. May the Lord put you at the right location. Amen. At the right time. Amen. To do the right things. Amen. This week, in the name of Jesus. Amen. May you be connected to the right location. Amen. For your destiny help us. Amen. To connect with you. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. And he said, when you get there, they will tell you that the ass that your father went to, you are looking for, your father's ass has been found. Amen. That is the good news factor. Amen. Receive good news this I week. Receive it. Receive good news. Amen. Good news from afar. Amen. And good news from near. Amen. To cool your life. Amen. Every heat around you, yes, let it become Lord, yes, cool Amen. and calm Amen. because of the good news factor Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. And now you that you are not cared for, mm. receive the significance factor. Amen. He said, now your father is thinking about you. May that man begin to think about you. Amen. May that woman begin to think about Amen. you. May that friend who neglected you think about you. Amen. May that boss think about you. Amen. Whoever has to bring anything to you, may they think about you. Amen. And may they come and help you. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. And everybody shout a big amen. Amen. Uh, well, give God a hand of praise if you want to. I don't know whether you are celebrating your victory. Glory to Jesus. Glory, glory, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. Glory, sing. Glory, glory, Lord. You are the mighty God.
You don't have to have a problem at all. <laughs> Those days when you used to go to a disco, you dance hard to the devil. <laughs> when you come to church, you must dance unto the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We have danced for the devil, so now it's time for us to dance for God. Amen. Amen. Give God a hand of praise. Well, before I take an offering, and you say, I want to give my life to Jesus. I want him to be the Lord and master of my life. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let's pray this day after me. Say, Heavenly Father. Thank you for loving me. That's all loving me. And sending your son Jesus, your son son Jesus to die on the cross for my sake. For my my sake. sake. Forgive my sins. Forgive me my sins. And cleanse me, now cleanse me. me. from all unrighteousness. From all unrighteousness. Jesus, Jesus. I receive you, I receive wow. you. into my heart into my my heart. to be my Lord so and, my Lord. Lord. and my, Savior. my Savior. From today, from from today. today. my spirit, my soul, my soul, and my body belongs to you. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you for this once. I pray that you'll be planted in your house and flourish in your courts. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Wow. Blessings. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you take your seat? Let's receive our tithes, all those who brought your tithes. So don't to do by with me. I've been in my Tithes. You have to be loyal by paying your tithes. Amen. Amen. So you'll be down or do whatever. Thank you for the tights of your 
your people. Amen. I pray that you bless them. Amen. And honor them. Amen. Let the windows of heaven be open. Amen. Make a way where there's not been a way. Amen. After today, let their salary become their tithe. Amen. Increase them on all fronts. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. 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 God somebody is going to get a beautiful week. Amen. You didn't hear me. I said somebody is going to get a beautiful week. Amen. We want to take a good offering. Yeah, take a good seed. So the Bible says, give and it shall be given unto you. Amen. Good measure. Press down. Shaking together. together. Running over shall God cause men to give unto your bosom. Amen. God is going to cause people to look for you. Amen. People Amen. are going to visit you. Amen. Those who forgot about you, they're going to remember you. Amen. And they're going to turn your story around. Amen. So take a good offering. Is it far for real? Amen. An offering of $50, $100, 20 pounds, 50 pounds, 200 CDs, 100 CDs, 50 CDs. And speak over your offering. Give it an Say. assignment. Your offering is a seed. And so give it an assignment. Every seed has an assignment. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Amen. For the seed offering your people are bringing. I ask of God that you turn your story around. Let this seed become a big tree. And turn into a great forest for them. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So we can give you on our feet coming from the back. Yes, sir. May we stand to our feet, everybody. Let's stand yes, sir. to our feet. Yes, sir. From the back. You can also use the mobile. You can use our short code offering, star 920, star 920 hash. And those of you on the, our social media platforms, the, the, the numbers are there on the screen. Please give and give generously. God bless you. Hallelujah. Run now, why? 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 Run now,